In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to open up images in Photoshop in several different ways. First of all, I'm going to show you how to open it up right from Bridge. I've already shown you this before, but usually I'm using a, a camera raw image, those CR images right here, or depending on what camera you use, they have different uh, suffix, I mean, uh, file extensions. So this one is a JPEG. If you just double click on a JPEG, it opens it up in Photoshop. And there it is. Uh, I can zoom in on the image or zoom out. Notice, I want, I want you to notice a few things while, I, while I'm doing this. Notice this is at 18.57%. That means that uh, each one of the pixels in the image is crowded into one pixel on the screen because the, the screen is you're viewing this at 18.5% about. If I go control one, that zooms into 100%. You hold down space bar and drag. And when I, um, when we look at this now, each pixel in the image is represented by one of the um, pixels on the screen. Uh, so that, that's something to be aware of when you're editing, because you can choose, you know, choose pixels really individually. If I if I zoom in a couple more times, notice how though each of those pixels gets larger. We're at 500 percent. If I keep going, then it really demarcates the each pixel right here, even you know with those little boundaries between them. So I'm going to go Control Zero to zoom out to the full view, um, and I'm going to go back into, I'm going to show you how to open images in Photoshop another way. So I'm going to go File and Open. And I'm going to open a uh, the uh, hillside picture. Um, it's a JPEG file, so it should open it up directly in Photoshop. And there we go. So it opens it right in there. I'm going to just close that because I don't need it right now. I'm going to open up these images right here. Uh, I'm going to show you another way. This I have a folder right here that has some images in it. I'm going to open that same um, hillside picture by dragging it into the Photoshop window. So I'm just going to click on it. I'm going to drag over into this window, and it opens it up in Photoshop in its own tab, as long as I drop it into this tab area. If I drop it in another place, if I drop it right into this area right here, it opens up on top in, on its own layer in the open image. So if you drop it up here, it opens up in its own tab. If you drop it here, it opens up in the image. I'm going to show you one other way to open an image in Photoshop. Uh, here I have an image in um, in the uh, web browser. I'm going to show you how I found an image that's this large. Uh, this is good kind of a side bit of information. When, when we go to, uh, say, Google Images or whatever, I'm, I'm going to go back to Google Images. And I, I say I do the search for this uh, Scarlett Johansson and Chris Evans because I want to do some kind of a thing where I put my head over Chris Evans' head so it looks like I'm hanging out with Scarlett Johansson. I might do that later on. Um, I can go to Search Tools, and then I can say I want a larger image. And then I can even go down here and say, hey, I want bigger than 4 megapixels. And here we have an image that's larger than 4 meg megapixels. I have some other images. So I'm just going to click on that. Huh. I'm going to click on that and and view the image here. And notice it's a really large image, so I'm going to copy that image. So I, what I'm doing is I'm right-clicking, or on a Mac you'd be control kick clicking. I right-click and choose con copy image, and it copies it to a place in memory called the, the clipboard. And then when I come over here to Photoshop, I did Alt-Tab to switch from the browser back to Photoshop. When I say File New, it takes the pixel size of the image that's on the clipboard in the computer memory, and it creates a new Photoshop document that is the same size with the same resolution. So I click OK, and I get this image. Now if I go Edit, Paste, or do Control-V or uh, Command-V on a Mac, um, then I, it pastes it in there, and it's the f that's the whole size right there. Again, if I go Control-1 and zoom in, it takes us into the full view and we can see this image better. So those are ways to open up images in Photoshop. You can open it up by going by going from Bridge, by going from File, the File Open menu in Photoshop. Uh, there's you can even use there's a thing called a Mini Bridge that you can get to from the File menu, and um, you can browse from within Photoshop for images. I'm not showing you that right now, but that's you can do it. Uh, or you can drag and drop images from a folder, or copy and paste from the internet. After you after you copy, then you go file new, and it'll have the the uh, it'll create a document that's the same size as the image that's on the clipboard, and that is all for now.